welcome to the last day of No Time to Wait. I hope you had a nice time at the dinner last night. Um, I first wanted to mention a couple of things about the program. We did a little bit of shuffling. So there, is, uh, there was one presentation at 2.30, um, Alexandristan uh, taking a cue, and that will be moved a bit later in the program to 16.50. Uh, so it'll be one, one of the last uh, sessions of today. Uh, this was to give a little bit more time to the seller working group meeting that will happen after lunch. Uh, so I'm Dave Rice. I wanted to, like in the theme of transparency, I wanted to give the presentation about the conference itself and how No Time to Wait happens. Uh, this is the, the sixth one. Uh, the first one uh, was hosted at the Deutsche Kinematek. Um, it was initially supposed to be a workshop about this project called MediaConch, and it just kind of rolled into a, a conference. Um, initially, we had two, two years of kind of associated funding from that MediaConch project. And then after that, there was enough uh, excitement, interest in the conference that we were able to uh, start collaborating to, with some generous sponsors to, to continue. So wanted to talk about how this conference happens. And the three main components are just time, money, and love. Um, and let me kind of break down the money and the love part a little bit. So this is a slide I showed in last year's presentation where it just kind of lists out the main sponsors and how much, um, how much the sponsorship raised for the, the conference, um, 6,900 euros. Um, if you remember, like we were really intending to meet in Hilversum uh, at the Netherlands Institute for Sound and Vision last year. Um, but the Omicron virus uh, decided to meet there instead. Um, so we all moved into Gavertown. So for this year, that's why we have a remaining balance of uh, 4,400 euro uh, that, that was left over from that conference because we didn't have to host a social dinner or print things. We, we moved things online. Um, in, a, in addition to that remaining balance from last year, we also have uh, 2,700 euros from uh, these additional sponsors for this uh, total amount. And then um, this is kind of what the expenses were for the conference. We had uh, a bunch of travel grants. I think there were five or six recipients of travel grants this year. Congratulations. Uh, the Netherlands Institute for Sound and Vision offered the program printing for like the name badges and for, for these. Um, we funded the travel and lodging of the organizing committee and then we hosted the, the dinner last night. Uh, so after all that, we have a remaining balance, so uh, that just kind of gets moved into uh, No Time to Wait 7 next year, uh, and we'll have more on that later. Um, we're also always interested in sponsors to just help make the, the conference a bit more stable and to continue. We've been pretty dedicated to managing a free, conf a free registration conference, um, and that takes and and we do that because like we we can do that because of the really high rate of um, volunteering at the conference, and you know participation and support. <clears throat> and then in addition to the money part, I wanted to acknowledge the time. Uh, media area op offers a tremendous amount of coordination, administrative support, and time. Our host institution, um, the Netherlands Institute for Sound and Vision, offered this conference space, technical support, coordination, vision, and their own time. And then also like organizers, presenters, volunteers, everyone you see or to see helping around or on the stage or, uh, or the, you know, operating remotely uh, offers their time and expertise. Uh, you know, so we want to acknowledge that it's, for a conference like this, it's not just the funding for like the social dinner and the printing, but also there's like a lot of cost um, that you all bear to get here in paying for like hotels and travel. Um, so I think like No Time to Wait is really able to create this wonderful space of uh, sharing experiences and information with one another, but it obviously takes a lot of all of us to contribute into an, an event like this. All right, and that's my very short conference presentation. <laughs> I know I have 10 minutes on the program, so I'm happy to take any questions if any of you want to know how this conference works, or if any of my like fellow organizing committee members have any uh, questions about how this conference works.